Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So today's video is going to be a newborn Best Buys. So these are all of the items that I absolutely adored um, and I got so much use out of. Um, so yeah, I am going to do a part two as well of the kind of worst buys, the things that I just do not recommend what, whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I just thought that this would be a really nice video to film. They seem to be really, really popular. Um, so yeah, and if you're new around here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down in the corner there. But let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first one was the perfect prep machine. I know that the the Tommy Tippy Perfect Prep had a little bit of a bad rep a couple of years ago, um, but I always made sure that I bought the right filters and that I checked the tubes every couple of months, and I never ever had any problems with it. it did the job so well. I tried the old fashioned way quite a few times and there was a few times when I got completely caught out and yeah, this is the perfect prep for me. It was absolutely brilliant and most of my baby friends, um, pretty much all of them, um, swore by the perfect prep machine. So yeah, so I highly, highly recommend that one. Um, and then I also loved the Avent bottle warmer. So the bottle warmer was fab. William didn't like the temperature that the prep machine did the milk at, so we would always do the prep machine and then we would pop his bottle in the bottle warmer for around about a minute and it used to come out really lovely and warm and he would guzzle it down. He really did love that and that was the Avent bottle warmer. Highly, highly recommend. The next one was um, the Baby Gym. Okay, so the Baby Gym was the Fisher Price Rainforest Music and Light Deluxe Gym. Um, and honestly, this was the best thing that we bought. Um, we got some money from um, an auntie and uncle um, when my um, baby was born and that was the one thing that I hadn't bought. And oh God, I'm so glad that I picked it up. William was so happy in there. He would literally go underneath. He was always so well stimulated as well because of all the animals that was hanging down, all the music that was playing. And he would have a lovely amount of time on his back and then practicing his um, turning over and then a little bit of tummy time as well. So I highly, highly recommend that baby gym. It really is amazing. Um, and still to this day, I can remember the music. I just, yeah, it just, he loved it. Um, so the next one was my rocking chair. I picked up a rocking chair in mother care. Um, it was, ha was white and it had big plush cushions on it. I will um, put a picture of the rocking chair in. Um, and yeah, absolutely brilliant. I've had the fondest memories on that chair and we still use it today. Every night, William climbs up on the rocking chair with me. Um, so he sits on my lap, he has his milk, I read him a story. And yeah, it's just something that I will use with the next baby. And I know for a fact that I won't ever, ever get rid of it because I've got such fond memories of, um, yeah, just spending some time with my little boy. And yeah, the amount of times I was sat in that chair at three o'clock in the morning trying to master breastfeeding and partly falling asleep and oh god you mums you know you know where I'm coming from with it but I really really recommend having a really nice rocking chair in your nursery it does the world of good for um feeds and for story time it's just so so lovely the next one is the changing station so we bought a um a set um, like a nursery set it was the mamas and papas Rocco and I had a changing station and I had in the first drawer underneath I had all different compartments all different baskets where I had nappies I had socks I had muslins and I had all the necessary stuff so I had a thermometer I had um cotton pads I had cowpole I had teething gel all the things that you need to hand is literally in that drawer right underneath the changing station and even though he's only supposed to be using it up until 12 months we still use it now and he is so good at getting his bum changed he doesn't fight me he doesn't kick me he's not trying to crawl off and that is because he has been used to this changing station since he was newborn so i highly highly recommend a changing station i think like i say it just stops them from messing about they know that once they're on there they're going to get their bum changed and yeah it was absolutely fab so the next one was the jumper roo 
So we got the Fisher Price Roaring Rainforest Jumper Roo. It was quite expensive, um, but it was so worth the money. William was so happy in it, literally so, so happy. And what it meant was obviously when he was in his jumper roo, he was in there and he was quite happy and you could get on and do certain things, um, you know, in the obviously in the same room or in the next room but you just knew that he was happy and he was content in there and we had so many nice kind of memories of him in that jumper room just jumping about and just having a giggle and having a laugh and he just literally has never been happier and so I highly would recommend that jumper room it's absolutely fabulous the next one was my breast pumps so I had the Avon manual breast pump and I also had an electronic breast pump which was just from Amazon it was around about 25 pounds now when William was born he didn't have a strong latch he was born at 34 weeks so I had to breast pump every two hours and I also used to set alarms during the night time and um, so kind of 2 and 5 a.m I would set an alarm and I would breast pump as well and um, to increase my milk supply and it worked an absolute it works so well William was breastfed up until 12 weeks he was a bottle and um, he was combination of breastfeeding and combination bottle feeding the reason for that was because when he was in hospital the hospital basically said he has to be combination fed otherwise he's going to be in here in a month's time he just really struggled with his latch blessing and um, so yeah so basically what I said was okay that's fine I don't want him to have formula I want him to have my milk so I um, did breast pumping and it was hard work I was so proud of myself that I did that and I, I look back now and I think how the hell did I do that and I look at these mums who do it up until their babies are a year or two years old and you are amazing because it is hard work but yeah my breast pumps I swore by I still have them now if my next baby is not a breastfeeder as in they don't want to latch on or they struggle with their latch then I 100% will be doing exactly the same thing for as long as what I can do it and um, because like I say it was just nice knowing that although he was having a bottle it was my milk um, that he was drinking so yeah the next one was a baby bath and um, we picked this up in um, I think it was Tesco my mum actually picked it up for us he still uses it now and um, he's not a massive child he's quite dinky for his age and um, yeah he's quite happy in there and um, it just means that we conserve water so we don't actually have to fill up a massive bath for him to have a splash and a kick around and a little bit of you know a wash um, and yeah he's really really happy with it so that hands down was brilliant I know a lot of people like the seats that go in the bath but for us the baby bath was absolutely fab and until he's like obviously when he gets too big he'll go back in the normal bath but at the very moment in time he's absolutely fab and he's really happy in there and the next one was Moses basket so we had a Moses basket it was just one from Asda it came with a stand free of charge and it was brilliant I used to literally have him obviously right next to our bed in the Moses basket and then I would take the Moses basket down during the day um, for when he wanted to have naps during the day so he was always with me and um, so yeah I absolutely swore by it I know a lot of people swear by kind of the sleepy heads but for us the Moses basket did us a really really good turn and I was really upset when he grew out of it the next one was a baby carrier so I bought a baby carrier from Aldi of all places it was $13.99 and it was absolutely brilliant on days when William just wanted to be cuddled by mummy um, but I had to get stuff done like clean the house and whatnot that was brilliant because he would come with me he would basically just be strapped to me just giving me cuddles and just having little naps and things like that and I was able to get on with my chores and get my work done um so yeah highly recommend a baby carrier I know quite a few people who kind of did that who kind of kind of used them in regards to the fact that you know their baby was um happy quite happy to be in there um, and yeah they could just kind of get on with their day and just get things done if their baby was feeling particularly kind of clingy that day the next one was the tommy tippy steriliser which went into the microwave so it was the big round one this was brilliant it was so so good it wasn't i don't think it was that expensive i know you can get really expensive ones and i don't think it's needed this one was absolutely fab 
I would always have it on the side and like I say it got so much use out of it and it's gone away in the box ready to be opened up when we have another baby um, but yeah 100% recommend the Tommy Tippy microwave steriliser and then the next one was the Nutri Ninja so this is something like the Nutri Bullet and um, it just has a different compartment so you can chop you can um, puree you can blend and just when he was going on to weaning quite often I would batch cook um, broccoli I would batch cook sweet potatoes I would puree it and then I'd whack it into the freezer and the Nutri Ninja was just brilliant and even now he's a little bit funny at times with bits so he doesn't really like his mash too lumpy so quite often I will just put it in the Nutri Ninja and just blend it up so it's really really finely blended um, and I could just get so much use out of it and also you've got the smoothie part as well um, so quite often if I don't feel he's had enough fruit if he's thrown a lot on the floor I will whack it all in the Nutri Ninja and yeah blitz it in there and just give him a smoothie with full fat milk and then um, last but not least was the Google Home. I actually have a Google next to me um, in, my, in our bedroom. We've got them all around the house because they're just amazing. But quite often in the middle of the night I would come downstairs at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and I wouldn't want to put the TV on but I just want to listen to some music and quite often I would just sit there and I would just say there and literally it would play me magic radio or heart radio or radio one and I just felt a little bit less on my own it can be quite lonely feeding your baby on a night time and um, so that hands down was such a good um buy like it was so like yeah absolutely brilliant it's great they're on offer at the moment and um, all of july 2019 if you're watching it in this month they are on offer they've been reduced from 49 to 25 and i would highly 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 recommend them if you are having a baby just put it in the room where you are going to be feeding or you think that you're going to want some kind of downtime in the middle of the night and honestly that that thing is brilliant because you just have to speak to it and tell it what you want and it does it and um, so and it's great as well for trivia trivia you know and you're just like oh what's that and you just ask google and she tells you so yeah so those are all the best buys guys i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have i would really appreciate if you give it a massive thumbs up that does me such a good good turn i hope you have a really nice day or evening wherever you are in the world and i will speak to you soon thank you so much for watching